What's happening is there are con continuities of American history that keep on coming back up. Mm -hmm. So you talk about the KKK. Yeah. They, they never went away, they've right? There, they've they've yeah. always yeah. been there. And there's always been a resistance movement in this country, whether it's the Black Freedom Movement, whether it's the American Indian Movement, whether it's um, Cesar Chavez and mm -hmm. other Latino movements in this country. And we're also seeing Muslim Americans really sort of step up mm -hmm. and be a part. We, Linda Sarsour, who has been yeah. on the campaign trail for Bernie yeah. Sanders. Mm -hmm. We've seen a Arab Americans come out for the vote in significant measures. For the first measures. time. First time? I mean, in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were around and we have voted. No, but like not, not, not in the same well, way. Well, you know we what's now. really interesting? Bush's presidency did spark. Arab Americans were traditionally Republican to do a massive mm -hmm. conversion to mm -hmm. the Democratic mm -hmm. Party. And that was the biggest wave and conversion of any ethnic group in American history. Wow. Yeah, it was really interesting. And then, again, Black Lives Matter, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. as a movement. Started out as a hashtag, and then three amazing, incredible women, Patrice Cullors, Opal Tometi, and Alicia Garza, who have mm -hmm. long histories in activism work, are forcing us and challenging us to really think about state violence.